uh, on July 12th of 2007, our troops um, spotted some people that they thought were insurgents, apparently, uh, and fired on them and killed nearly a dozen people on the scene. It turned out that, as far as we can tell, the Iraqis on the scene were not insurgents, although one of them had uh, a weapon. Only one had a gun, okay? Uh, but uh, in the process, a couple of reporters were also killed. A Reuters photographer, Namir Nur al Din, and his driver, Saeed Chamal, were killed. And you're going to see them getting killed in this video. It was leaked to WikiLeaks, and that's exactly what WikiLeaks is for, to get these kinds of videos. And as you see it unfold and as you see the dialogue, you're going to see why it's particularly brutal uh, in our, what appears to be our disdain for human life. Uh, so let's start with the first one. This is where they spot the guys walking down the street. What you'll see is cameras that they're holding, uh, and they were gonna, they're going to mistake that for an RPG. You'll see both how confusing it is and unclear it is, and uh, unfortunately how flippant they seem to be. So let's start with that video first. And there's more that keep walking by, and one of them has a weapon. Roger, receive target. Nice. 2-6, Crazy Horse 1-8. Negative area, Spearsville 2 and Flight. 
All right, look, they, were they quick to assume weapons? Absolutely. Did they seem to make things up like five to six AK-47s, which were not the case at all? There was only one weapon on the ground uh, at the end? Yes. RPGs didn't exist. Now, at the same time, you know, you look at that video, they're in the middle of a war. Can you really tell that the camera is not an RPG? So I'm, tr I'm trying to be fair to both sides. I'm trying to see it from both their perspectives. What doesn't help their cause, of course, is the way they are so unbelievably flippant about it. Huh, dead bastards, joking around, nice shot, way to kill them all. Uh, and it seems like a video game. And uh, the problem is, this is how war happens, right? And sometimes it is the bad guys, and sometimes it's not the bad guys. The problem is you shouldn't have put those guys in the first place. You train them how to kill, you give them these high-tech weapons, and then you say, go in the middle of Iraq, go in the middle of Baghdad, see if you can pick out the good guys and the bad guys, the cameras from the RPGs, shoot them all, and then see what happens. But they're not done yet. One of the guys, in fact, it was the driver, Saeed Chama, who was part of this Reuters crew, uh, starts, is wounded, and he's crawling around. And they keep asking, should we take him out? And you can't take him out, he's wounded, he doesn't have a weapon. And the pilot keeps saying, oh, come on, grab a weapon, grab a weapon, so he could have an excuse to shoot him. He doesn't. A van pulls up, a good Samaritan, with two kids inside. They're going to try to bring him to the hospital. Well, that's going to lead to the second disaster of the day. Next clip. Bushmaster, we have a van that's approaching and picking up the bodies. Where's that van at? Right down there by the body. Okay, yeah. Bushmaster, crazy horse. We have individuals going to the scene. Looks like possibly uh, picking up bodies and weapons. Hey, we need to stop that. We need to get down there. We need to stop that. You see my little... Roger. Uh, break. Crazy Horse 1-8. Uh, request permission to uh, engage. I'm picking up the wounded. Yeah, we're trying to get permission to engage. Come on, let us shoot. A push master, Crazy Horse 1-8. We're taking him. Push master, Crazy Horse 1-8. It's Bushman 7, go ahead. Roger, we have a black SUV or bongo truck picking up the body. Request permission to engage. Bushmaster 7, Roger. This is Bushmaster 7, Roger, engage. 1-8, engage. Clear. Come on. Clear. Clear. Orange. Coming around, clear. Roger. Trying to, uh... Clear. Roger, I'm trying, I lost him in the dust. I got him. I'm firing. Hey, George, this is Bushmaster 4. You got any BDA on that truck? Over. You're clear. This is, uh, Crazy Horse Sam. I'm shooting for some reason. Go ahead. I think the van's disabled. Go ahead, shoot it. I got an azimuth limit for some reason. Uh, left. Clear left. All right, look. Later in the video in WikiLeaks, they show the kids in the window of the van. Not fair. I mean, it's, I'm glad they showed it and you see it. Okay, you get it. But it's a black van. They can't see the kids. I couldn't see the kids on the first time around. I'm not blaming them for shooting at the van, that, and there's kids inside, they don't know that there are kids inside, okay? Now, having said that, I mean, they keep saying, let us shoot, let us shoot. It's like a video game, and they want to kill them, right? But they didn't have any weapons. This time around, they're carrying out the wounded. Even if they're the bad guys, no weapons, carrying out wounded, we execute them. I mean, this is, just because you do it from a helicopter, doesn't make it any different. You could have just walked up into the street and shot him in the back of the head. They didn't have any weapons. That would be an assassination. That would be murder. This isn't. In fact, they're calling this video collateral murder on WikiLeaks. And this is what's grotesque about a war. You train these guys who are young guys, generally speaking, on our side, to kill, 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 and then you let them loose in a population where you have no idea if you're killing the right guy or the wrong guy. Now, it gets worse. It gets uglier because 
in the next scene, the Bradley fighting vehicles show up, and they're going to laugh about how one of them rolls over a body, one of the dead. Let's watch. I just drove over a body. Yeah. Hyper 5, 2, report free chains on 4. Uh, major is a visual. Yeah, I just drove over a body. Yeah. Hyper 5, 2, report free chains on 4. Now, before you get too angry at those guys uh, laughing and joking around, too, they have to desensitize themselves to some degree. They're killing people every day, right? And we hope they're mainly killing bad guys. Except you stuck them in a situation that I've said now numerous times where they have no idea if they're killing the bad guys. I wish they would be more restrained, but I'm a million times angry at the people who put them in that position for a war we should have never gotten involved in, never should have gotten into in the first place. And so now the, the last part might make me the angriest. They finally find out, oh my God, we got kids inside the van and they're hurt. Their father, the Good Samaritan, killed, okay? And they got to get the kids out. And the guy on the ground requests an evacuation to our hospital so the kid can get treated. And as you're about to see, that request is denied. Let's watch. Roger, that's a negative uh, on uh, evac the uh, two uh, civilian uh, kids to uh, Rusty. They're going to have uh, the IPs uh, link up with us over here, break. And uh, IPs will take them up to a local hospital. Over. That's your copy, over. Roger that. Why'd you tell? So uh, when their request was denied, and uh, they say, that's right. No, uh, you can't take them to our hospital. Wait till the Iraqis show up, and hopefully they'll get to their hospital. Thank God the kids didn't die. What's the point of denying that? I mean, look, we're second-guessing them here. A couple of years later, who knows, maybe our hospital was full, etc. But it didn't seem like they cared an awful lot about the lives of those people down there. And... You know, as you remember, in 06 and 07, Iraq was a disaster area. People killing each other left and right. In the end, hundreds of thousands of civilians died. Some at our hands, but a lot of them in the hands of the militias uh, and the insurgent groups, etc. And in the end, when I see disasters like this that didn't have to happen, I always think, damn it, man. One, there was no weapons of mass destruction. Number two, the inspectors that were looking for the weapons of mass destruction were kicked out by us, by George W. Bush, not by Saddam Hussein. They had no link to 9-11. This war was 100% unnecessary. All those people died because George Bush and Dick Cheney thought, ha, 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 we're going to bring democracy to Iraq. Now, look, they didn't really believe that. If you ask me, you know, Cheney cared about the oil. Bush had his own you know, God fantasies about how he was going to bring democracy and he was going to strike back and be a tough guy against terrorists that didn't exist in Iraq. But the bottom line is the same. They started a war that they should have never started and they don't seem awfully concerned about all those civilians who died. Does it look like we brought them democracy? Does that look like freedom that we just gave them? So the next time we're going to start a war, can we please think twice. Can you please remember this video? And that once you start the war, that you unleash this hell upon the local population. And so many of them get killed like this because, oh, I don't know, was it a camera? Was it an RPG? Let's kill them all and make sure. The crimes of Bush and Cheney in starting this war should never be forgotten.